Okay. 272 Ancient Shards. 2x. Double chances of uh, Epic or Legendary Champions here. And we also have Guaranteed Event for Excuse Goffrey me, sir. Blast Excuse me, Would you mind holding? These nuts? That's what we're going to do. We're going to hope for something... We're definitely getting this guy, and we're hoping for something better. Here we go. Let's get it down to a nice even number. Come on. There's not a single rare we're looking for in this game. Not a single rare that we're looking for in this game. All right. Get two garbage pulls. She's such a free champion. Everybody gets her on the first 20 minutes of playing the game. Here we go. Come on. <clears throat> Let's do this. Come on, baby. Be good to me. There's an epic. Taurus. Don't need Taurus. There's another epic. There's Lodric Falconheart. Lodric Falconheart can be used for Scarab King. Shield and all allies. Two turn cooldown. Taurus does poisons. Where is it? There it is. Right here. He'll place four poisons. Place unkillable himself. He hurts himself. Places poisons. So it can be used. Whatever. Next. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Shaman, another free champion. <laughs> I guess we're just going to get all the free champions. We're going to get a lot of champions today. Here we go. Come on. Oh, Aox. He's all right. Grimskin. Eh. Not great. Frozen Banshee. Fantastic. Champion. Rare champion. Uh, poison sensitivity will place poisons on our A1 if they have poison sensitivity. And sneak, sneaky, this here has got like a six point some odd multiplier. This will hit very hard if you build her for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, she's she's an end game end game poisoner. <clears throat> up up torture helm. He's for the Ros infusion. He's got a weird mechanic for uh, will revive himself when he is killed on a three turn cooldown. Other than that, not that great. Uh, but he's an epic for Rosin if you don't have him. Here we go, still going. Come on, baby, come on. Give me something we're talking about here. Knight Errant. Blood Feather, she's also an uh, epic for Rosin. Terrible champion though. Other than that, Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to mow through these and this is going to be bad. Uh, come on. There's one. Romero. Basilisk. Uh, Romero. So Jamie Lannister right there. And then Basilisk. Uh, decent. A AOE A1. If you're having trouble in Lizardman. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Here we go. Come on. <clears throat> Hmm. Rare tax. Rare tax. Here we go. Hey, Chancellor Yasmin. Mediocre to bad. She's not that great. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're getting awful champions too. Like none of these are even good to talk about. What does she do? She's got some weird stuff. Removing all. Okay, so she's got like a 75% chance of a full cleanse. Something like that. All right. Whatever. Boo. Come on, give me that good one. Give me that good one. So like four epics and a legendary and one ten pole. Or, or ten rares. Or ten rares. Whatever. Bullshies, man. Come on. God. So bad. So bad. Come on. There's an epic. There's Masamoto. He's all right. There's Sir Artemage. He's bad. What's Masamoto got going on here? Epic defense champion here. Chance it's doing that. AoE, chance of decreased attack. Increased defense and all allies. Turn to your fill. Okay. Yeah, Masamoto's the worst version of... Exactly is the 2x even on. What's going on? How many have we summoned here? Ah, there goes 100 shards. There goes 100 shards already. <laughs> so, we're already playing the odds are bad. 
Yikes. Let's go! <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my goodness, so bad. There's Corpulent Cadaver. Mother Superior. Another Knight Errant. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so bad. So bad. Corpulent Cadaver is fantastic for Infinity Shield team with Krisk and Brogany. Man, this is bad. This is so bad. Visionary. No, Shatterbones. Yikes. Good gosh, man. With all the epics in the game, it gave me two of the same epic. Can you believe that shit? All right. I mean, hey, fuck it. We're all in here. We're probably going to lose our ass off. There's one! He's a dupe. That's okay. That's okay. Dupe for the Ogren tribes. Whatever. Whatever. Where are we at here? 132. All right, so we'll get this guy next. Here we go. Whatever. Whatever. Garp Tuck, thanks for coming to the party. You're going to be a dupe. You're going to be used for that garbage. There he is. Gofford Brassclad. I'm not a big fan of this guy, uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. Still have 130 shards, so, I mean, might as well just keep going. Let's go. It's 2x Ancients, and we have pulled 140. We've 142, and we've gotten completely boned so far. <laughs> There's Infernal Baroness. He's all right. And rares, and rares, and rares. Yay. <laughs> oh, come on. Lady Killen. She's free. It used to be. With a promo code excruciator. Inf Infernal Baroness again. Man. It's not even 10x. We just keep pulling the same epics. Come on! Another <laughs> Romero! Oh my god! So bad. So bad. So we got two Romeros, two Infernal Baronesses, two Knight Errants. Oh my god. So sad. So sad. There's one. Yes! Finally, baby! Yes! Woo! <laughs> It was worth it! It was all worth it! It was all worth it! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Geomancer meme is gone, baby! Yes! <laughs> Whose account is cursed now? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hell yes! We still have 90 Ancient Shards, which we're going to summon. <laughs> yes! Alright, now we're back with more, enough room to summon the last 90. This is all just gravy on top of the Geomancer cake that we just got. Sweetest cake of all time. Man, it's been a long time. Here we go. 90 more. Let's see if we can't get anything else for this Geomancer. On top of this Geomancer. If, it's, if we get 90 rares, I'm fine. Ultimate Gaelic... At this point, I don't know if there's an epic I need or I want. I think Geomancer was the last one. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm I'm on cloud nine right now. Totally on cloud nine right now. Another flesh tear. Look at this. We're just pulling all these. Mass fearmonger. This guy's got a cool look to him for being a banner lord. Banner lords usually have bad like they just look boring. This guy's got a pretty cool look to him. Too bad his kit sucks. Got a chance of placing fears and stuff like that. Whatever. Yeah, refresh. Ah, refresh. Yeah, I like his look. I like his look a lot. I just wish his kit was cool, was better so he could use him. It, it is what it is. Alright, here we go. Mm, Scion. Scion's a free champion you get from the daily login rewards. Adriel is not great. I think she's got a speed aura. 
Magic speed. Yeah. Uh, Scion, you get Scion from the free daily login rewards after you get Cleopteryx, I want to say. So, yeah, I don't use this guy. Uh, anything else we're talking about? No. No. I don't know how many we got left, like 50 or 60. Ah, that's another judge. I mean, we're getting rares out the booty. Rares out the booty. Deathless. Deathless has a weird mechanic in her kit. AoE. The attack will always be critical if there are two or more dead allies. Damage increases according to the number of dead allies. So if you can get everybody to die. And then get this to go off. She will do insane damage. Very, very hard for this to be anywhere near consistent. And it's just kind of a... Yeah. Like, why would your nuker not die before everybody else? It's kind of silly. <clears throat> it's just hard to set it up. There's another epic. There's hope. There's the Ice Crusher. I don't know if the Ice Crusher is the right one. He's not, is he? No, he plays his decreased crit rate. Uh, uh, the Black Bear is the one that you like. Hope? What is hope? Increased duration of buffs on all allies. So there's that. AoE has a 75% chance of... Stripping everybody's buffs. Yeah. She's not bad. She's not bad. She's not great, but she's not bad. There's another epic. There's Canelia. There's Luria. We pull in Luria all day now. And there's another. There's a Lordly Legionnaire. Everybody knows him. He's Faree. He's got Reflect Damage on all allies. And he's a free champ. Day 120. 20? No, day 150. I don't know, 120 or 150. Hope is your first epic you pulled? Oh. Boo. Canelli has got some weird shit going on, too. It's all right. All right, come on. Come on. I don't even know how many we got left. This could be the last 10 pull here. <clears throat> another Corpulent Cadaver. Another Master Butcher. Such a good champ. Crip Witch, awful. Achak the Wenderin, Gorlos Helma. This guy's got an AoE defense down on uh, for Demon Spawn. Not many Demon Spawn have him. I don't know. I don't know very many Demon Spawn has an AoE 100% AoE defense down on uh, on a three turn cooldown. Gorlos has it. Achak has got the freeze, HP burn, whatever stuff, and then turn meter stuff going on there. Um, and you all know Master Butcher, Apothecary, Corpulent Cadaver. How many we got left? We got 20 left. 20 left. Yeah, Achat can be a burn, can be a um, a burner or a freezer. Mostly people use Achat for freezing the spiderlings. Hey, rare tax! Rare tax! Oh, hey. So this is what we're talking about. Uh, with the, the, the guaranteed champ, right? This just spurred me on, okay? The guaranteed champ was increased defense on all allies. Here's a rare. They will place increased defense and block debuffs on a three-turn cooldown. Just a rare champ better than a legendary champ. Pfft. Like, come on. That's why I'm not so high on this guy, right? 100% chance of stuns. Okay, cool. All right, last 10 here. Anything to go, Geo? I mean, 270 shards for Geo, I'm fine with that. I'll take it, but give me something better to go with it. Do that. Oh, Horden and Tashada. Horden is a legendary, legendarily renowned as the champ that Plarium gave away for $50. One gave away. You pay $50, you got Horden. This was like two years ago. And Tashada, I don't know. I don't care. Get out of here. There goes all the ancient shards. Thank you so much for my geomancer. We can see how unlucky my account was. Goffred's new, but finally geomancer is also new. 272 ancient shards for a geomancer? Worth it. Worth it in my book. At least for me. <laughs> all right.